ex-teammate Gary Smith. Smith must have learned a lot watching Tony for those two years because he has held this young Vancouver team together all season with a kind of superb goaltending that won him all-star honors at the halfway mark. In this collection of eight replica hockey masks, replicas which look like the originals, two of them belong to former Canucks goalies. When I first started watching hockey in uh, the mid-70s, Gary Suitcase Smith wore the classic <laughs> white mask, the simple stick and rink embellishments, mm -hmm. and a suitcase packed up and was traded before I saw my first game at the Coliseum. They call him Suitcase because he was just traded a lot? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a great nickname. Yeah. And good hair. Well, I did this painting of him there. Well, there he is. Look at that with his, his white man's frill. <laughs> and the stash. It's cars. Classic. That's some good 70s right there. Yeah. He was driving an LTD. Well, he was uh, after, I guess he got drunk at the team Christmas party. <laughs> and he called Mrs. Griffiths. Uh, I think she was from uh, the Dr. Ballard family. He made some oh. reference to her oh, like dog that. food or something, <laughs> and he was shipped out. That's the legend. You say that about the owner's wife, and yeah. you're pretty well traded. The, the, the mask on the top right mm -hmm. was the Canucks backup goalie, Kurt Ridley. That design's my favorite in team history. I just always loved it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but what's cool about the Sawcheck ones is uh, uh, this one here. It's actually molded from... Saw Chuck some mask that he gave to LA Kings trainer. Wow. And so the mask was broken, and I guess he had asked the trainer to try and fix it. Right. He couldn't fix it, so Saw Chuck just said it was okay, he could keep it. And so Don actually met the trainer, and, and the trainer allowed him to take a mold right from the mask. Oh, and, and so there you have the, the brake lines yeah, in so, the replica. Wow. Right. Little tape, tape around the bottom. Tape yeah. around the bottom. Like that is so. And the, the leather strap in the back. I actually had Great. Shoemaker make the strap here locally so uh, that that's it would look as close to the original mm. as possible. Nice. Pretty nerdy. <laughs> That's what it takes to be a collector, though. You got to be all in. Yeah. And there, in and, sure. and there's one of your paintings of of Sawchuck. That's just a print. The original is um, Terry Sawchuck Jr.'s fiance bought it for Terry Sawchuck Jr. Oh. So it's it, with the family now. So. Sawchuck wasn't the goalie that used to throw up during between periods. Is that Glenn Hall? Or that was Sawchuck? Glenn Hall. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's cool about Glenn Hall is I met uh, Glenn Hall. He signed these skates that are in the table mm -hmm. and chuck rayner had already signed the skates when i bought them from an antique place since then i've had jerry cheevers and bernie perrant sign them as well wow. so. and johnny bauer I wow met, johnny i met johnny bauer. bauer he signed that old glove there mm -hmm. the black glove uh, reminds me of the glove that johnny bauer wore in the photograph on the, the goalie wall it's hard even to imagine anybody wearing these gloves and, and playing hockey and yeah. what little protection they offer. Pass it right front to Dab. Dab shoots and he's shot wide. Reed it right front to Dab. He shoots. Oh, hit Lumley right in the face. Armstrong shoots one. Lumley's bleeding badly in the mouth. A shot and it's caught. Lumley's been cut in the mouth. Lumley is headed to the dressing room for repairs. He's ble bleeding very freely.